happy Earth Day to everybody. It's not, of course, one of the happiest moments in the history of this planet, and for lots of reasons. We're living through the pain and trauma of, of this pandemic, and it's juxtaposed against the, the ongoing climate crisis. So let me say a few words about uh, not the silver linings of coronavirus, there are none, but about the fact that if we're gonna go through this kind of trauma, we might as well learn a few lessons. It seems to me that the three basic ones are, are pretty clear. One is that reality really matters. You don't get to bargain with biology or chemistry or physics. Uh, neither the COVID microbe nor the CO2 molecule is interested in your demands for negotiation or your political spin or anything else. We need to take them at, at their word. If the microbe says stand six feet apart, stand six feet apart. If the CO2 molecule says it's time to stop burning coal and gas and oil, then it's time. Second lesson, it seems to me, is pretty clear too. Um, Speed is a great help. <laughs> um, the countries that flattened the virus curve are faring better than those like mine that didn't. A world that had flattened the carbon curve early on would be doing much better than the world we live in, but that doesn't change the fact that we still need to move quickly, that delay is always the enemy. And third, I think, and maybe most important, it's simply that social solidarity is essential. Too much of the world, my part especially, has lived the last 40 years on the idea that markets solve all problems and that every man for himself is the way forward and things. But that's clearly not working. Um, um, we clearly need to be working together in ways that we have not in the past. The news today that large portions of the world may be facing the most severe famine since the, well, in the last 40 years, is a reminder that we are all in this together and that it's going to take all of us working together to get out of it. That outcome is still possible. Not that we'll escape, say, climate change entirely, too late for that, but perhaps that we will be able to move with speed enough that we're able to keep us from getting any worse than we have to get. And that's why it's so good to see and powerful and even beautiful to have seen this great movement building over the last few years, led especially by young people. Um, but the fact that there are 10,000 Greta Thunbergs out there doing great work doesn't mean that it's okay to take the biggest problems the world have ever faced and offload them onto the shoulders of 14 year olds. It's time for the world to up its game, for everyone to be in movements, in activism, working as citizens to bring change on the pace and at the scale that we need. So I just wanna say how grateful I am to everybody involved in this project because I know that y'all fit that description to a T. We're very grateful and on we go. And as I say, happy Earth Day. Thank you so much, Ben.